So I'm out here with the 1999 uh, Articat ZR600. It is the EFI model. Um, and the problem that you have with these older Articats is the throttle switch. Uh, when they get old, this switch right here, see how it's kind of a little loose there? Um, basically, it'll start making the engine cut out. There's a safety switch in there so that if your throttle sticks, it will shut the motor off. But when they get old, the switch doesn't work right anymore and uh, it'll cut out on you. I'll see if I can uh, demonstrate what it's doing here. just died on me so uh, I'll show you the uh, well the real fix is to replace this whole throttle switch which is really expensive um, but there is kind of a workaround that you can do which is you follow this wire it's actually this one it goes down into the console um, on this one there's a three wire connector I'll show you that let me take the console off and so if you follow this wire down, it's not any of these. These are mainly for the um, heated uh, hand warmers and that. But you want to follow this down into the console. And there's a, on this one, there's a purple wire and two black and white ones. Or I guess there's a black and a brown and a purple on this end. Anyway, I'm just going to disconnect that. So there, I got that disconnected. And uh, you can test it out to see if this works with the disconnected. Um, basically, you start it up. The problem is, actually, we'll go ahead and do that. One. So, the problem is when it's disconnected, your kill switch doesn't work anymore. Uh, you can still shut it off with the key. So you can still shut it off with the key, but the kill switch doesn't work anymore. So what some people do is they actually cut out that middle, the middle prong, or they cut the middle wire. Um, or what I'm going to try to do is put a piece of uh, shrink, shrink tape around that middle prong and uh, see if that will uh, keep it from cutting out but still have a working uh, kill switch here because I don't want to completely disable the safety feature so uh, let me see if we can get that working so I got this red piece of shrink tube over that middle wire there and I'm gonna plug this back up and uh, see if it fixes the problem and we still have a uh, kill switch that works so let me plug that back up. All right, it's going back together a little bit difficult, but you can see uh, there's that red shrink tube still in there. I'm gonna try to close that gap a little bit more. All right, so that's about as good as I was able to get it. Um, I'm gonna test it out and see if it works. And then if we're all good, I'm gonna just wrap this up with some black electrical tape. So let's give this a try. Starts up, all right. The kill switch. Kill switch works. So I taped it all back up with some electrical tape. Not real pretty, um, but that should do the job. Now I just got to put my console, my broken console, back on here and uh, give it a try and see if that fixes the uh, cutting out, the bogging down. Try to hit the throttle. Um, hopefully we're good and I don't have to buy a whole new uh, throttle. So I've been out here driving it around out on the lake for the last 20 minutes or so and no more bogging down, cutting out. So that little wiring uh, 
trick there worked for me. Um, also the brake, I replaced that brake there. Brake's working good. So that's good. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.